Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really awesome plugin by Joe Viking 245 over on the forum. This is known as the Bolt Convert Q and Bend to CHD plugin, and this can save a ton of space and just make dealing with your games a lot more simple. Because what this is going to do is take those multiple file Ben and Q games convert them over to CHD and also compress them, which is going to save a ton of space. We'll take a look at all of that in this video. And for this video here, I'm going to show you how to get this set up. I'm going to show you how to use it and just show you how much space can be saved on your drive by using this plugin with LaunchBox. First things first, this relies on CHD Man that comes with the latest versions of MAME and we highly recommend using the latest versions of MAME. Now, if you want to use the CHD files with other emulators that support them, like RetroArch, you can always do that. But inside of LaunchBox, we will need to at least automatically download and configure MAME with our full set importer. We're going to go over all of that, but the first thing we need to do is get this plugin installed. So we're going to go ahead and download it here. We're going to agree. Right now there's two versions. We're going to go with the latest version here. So now that we have that downloaded, we need to unblock it. We're going to go to our downloads folder. And before we extract the zip archive, we want to right click properties unblock so this is going to unblock the file for us we'll choose apply okay and real quick there is a written guide here over on the download page so if you just want to follow this you can it's actually really simple to use so we've got the plugin downloaded we've unblocked it let's go ahead and extract it now i use winrar and i'm going to extract here i don't want to extract it into another folder so q to chd We'll just open this up. You'll see we have the q2chd.dll. So this is the folder we need to transfer over to our plugins folder in our LaunchBox installation directory. Now I'm going to head over to where I have LaunchBox installed. And in here, you'll see we have a plugins folder. We're just going to transfer this right over here. So the plugin is now ready to go with LaunchBox. Let's go ahead and close these down. So for this, I'm going to be dealing with TurboGrafx CD games, or TGCD games. Now, as you can see, I don't have that many, but we're going to save a lot of space, even though I'm only working with a few games here, and they're all been in queue. But with that plugin, we can convert these and compress them very easily. So let's take a look at the size of this folder. This is my TurboGrafx CD folder. Right click, properties, we're at 2.51 gigabytes, and there's not a lot of stuff in there right now. Keep that in mind because when we're finished, we'll take a look at the size drop on this folder. Let's start up LaunchBox. So I've just imported one CD game here to get the platform going, and I personally like to use RetroArch when it comes to my TurboGrafx CD games, but we still need that CHD man file that comes with MAME in order for the plugin to work, and we can actually check out that we have the plugin installed correctly by using the Tools dropdown. And right at the bottom here, you'll see Convert Q to CHD. So we now know we have that plugin installed correctly. But we need that CHD man file. And it's really easy to obtain inside of LaunchBox with our full set MAME importer. Tools. We're going to go to Import. MAME Arcade Full Set. Now remember, I'm not using MAME for my TurboGrafx CD games. You can always do that if you want to, but we still need this downloaded. This is the MAME Arcade Full Set Wizard, really easy to use. We're just going to get to the section where it'll automatically download and configure MAME for us. So for my platform, Arcade, I'm just going to choose my Arcade folder here. Full Set, highly recommend using the latest version, and as of making this video, 0.242. Choose Next, and now it's going to ask us if we want to automatically install and configure MAME. Highly recommended to do this, and we need that CHD man file, so we're going to go ahead and do this. It's going to install MAME for us, set up all of the folders and files in the correct location, and now we can exit the full set importer. Let's just double check that we have MAME installed correctly. From Tools, we'll go to Manage, Emulators, and you'll see we have MAME, and this is the latest version. So it installed it and configured it for us. We can now move on to converting our Q and Bin to CHD using the plugin. Like I showed you, my TurboGrafx CD games are Bin and Q right now, and there's a couple ways we can go about importing these. Uh, we need to import the Q file only, 
So we can do a search from here for Q and we can drag and drop these right into LaunchBox. So if we do that, we'll have just the Q files imported or we can go through the import wizard. It's really up to you. And to do that, we're gonna go to tools, import, ROM files. And since I'm using RetroArch for my TurboGrafx CD games, I'm gonna go with ROM files. If you're gonna use MAME, you can always use the MAME importer. We'll choose next. And in order to import just the Q files, we're gonna to go to add files. Make this a bit bigger. I'm gonna to head to my game section, Turbo Graphics CD, and you can see that it's gonna detect that we have the Q and the bins. But what I wanna do is just import the Q files. Control A, or you can just copy them all, it's up to you. Open, I just like to double check, only Q files are gonna be imported, and now we'll just go through the whole process. Let it go ahead and import all of those. And now I have some more TurboGrafx CD games imported, but I wanna convert these over to CHD using that plugin, and the plugin is super easy to use. So if you've already got a bunch of Ben and Q files imported into a certain system, you can always just use the plugin. We're gonna to go to Tools, Convert Q to CHD. It's gonna bring up a window, and I would highly recommend reading through all of this. Over on the left-hand side, we have the system that we're gonna kinda of scan through. Mine's gonna be TurboGrafx CD. If you check the Delete Old Files when complete, this is gonna save a lot of space. It's gonna delete those old Ben and Q files once it creates a new CHD file, or you can move them if you want to. For me, I wanna save as much space as possible and just clean everything up. Delete. I'm gonna choose Convert. And it could take a while depending on how many you have to convert, but we'll let this finish up real quick. It's finished. We can exit. And now let's go ahead and take a look at that TurboGrafx CD folder. Remember, these were all been in queue, and now they're all CHD. And before, the folder size on this was 2.51 gigabytes. Now we're down to under one gigabyte of space. So we did save a lot, and there's not a lot of games in here. So if you use this on a system with 50, 100, 200, 300 games, there's just so much that you can get rid of that you really don't need. But yeah, this is an awesome plugin to convert all of those Ben and Q games over to CHD. And with some of these TurboGrafx CD games, depending on the format, once you get them, some of these can be up to 30 files large, but this will bring it down to a single file, which is a lot easier to manage, and it saves a ton of space. Definitely want to give Joe Viking 245 a big shout out for creating this plugin, and if you do use it, don't forget to rate it over on the forum. But that's going to wrap it up for this video, and like always, thanks for watching.